Hello, today's video is on our stock number 35371PS, the uh, micro buck converter or step down. It will only step down the voltage. Uh, this is the unit itself. Uh, it is input rating at 4.5 to 28 volts DC in or 0.8 to 20, 20 volts DC out with a maximum rating of uh, 3 amps. Uh, there's a 3 volt difference between the input and the output, uh, but it's rated maximum at 10 watts. So, uh, giving an example, if you don't understand that, uh, 12 volts DC is about 800 milliamps. We'll give you 10 watts of power. Beyond that, you really do need a heat sink. Uh, we do sell some, uh, but really, uh, I would recommend if, if you're pushing it that hard, probably just get a bigger, higher current rated converter. Uh, most of the issues we've had with this has been around the uh, the pot. This is the adjustment pot right here. It is very small, very sensitive, uh, so you be careful with it. Uh, I made this little display up, show you the best way to get it going. Uh, obviously, the meter we had to tape down to keep from flopping around, and a nice little motor just to give you a visual and a load, see how it works. Uh, first thing I would like to do when you get this is take, uh, this is just a very small flat blade screwdriver, and clockwise and counterclockwise gently tune the pot just in case there's a little grease or something from the uh, or flux from the, the the manufacturing process. Then, with obviously with power off, I like to turn it all the way clockwise until it stops. Uh, that's the lowest possible setting. I'm going to turn on my bench shop power supply. It's set at oh, right about a little over 15 volts. Uh, obviously, display and the motor are not working because it's below their, their threshold. So let's start turning this gently counterclockwise. And you get to about 3 volts. As you can see the motor and the display started working. Uh, very gently slowly turn it up to your desired settings but if like I said I had to the benchtop power supply at 15 volts, so right around 12 volts. This should uh, start flaking out a little bit, and it doesn't. Like, it needs at least three volts between the input and the output. And there you go. You can see uh, once you, once you get below that that threshold, it, it 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 stops working properly. All you need to do is turn it back back below. And I'll go ahead and turn off my benchtop power supply all the way up to 18 volts, 18.6 actually. And let's see. And once it gets within that 3 volt range, there again I'll drop it down. Turn it back to about 12. And at 12 volts of DC, if I remember right, this is about a 65, 600, okay, 65 milliamp load. So well within it, uh, still staying cool. Okay, I think that's the basic operations of it. Hopefully this will explain it to you and, uh, and ha solve any problems you have. Thank you for watching our video.